Hi, my name is Dylan Gunning, and this is my R2 build. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we will be 3D printing the power coupler for my life-size R2-D2. As you can see here, I'm using the Ultimaker Cura 3D slicing software. For 3D printing, I'm using the Anycubic Chiron. To get the best results for this design, I have my layer height set at 0.12, the infill at 25%, and the outer walls at 2. For my filament, I'm using a silk silver. I provide a link in the description below so you can pick it up on Amazon. The great thing about this PLA is that when it is done, it looks like it's actually made out of metal. After many hours of printing, we are finally done with the main part. On the back side of the power coupler, I had to do a little cleanup job to allow other pieces to attach. Some more detailed pieces to print. Now that we have all the parts printed, let's go ahead and put it together. You want to go ahead and put the small detailed pieces on the four corners. And now we need to add the detailed parts for the back of the coupler. When you're finally ready to install the coupler, don't forget you want to paint the detailed parts to the color of your astromech. So if you're looking to do a standard R2-D2, you're going to do the blue color. Thank you very much for watching today's 3D print. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow along with the rest of our R2-D2 build and all the other fun projects we are working on. Thank you.